get you some slightly funny looks in. My plans to run from Newquay to Perrin Porth have been scuppered because the camping area that I was hoping to have again um, has been taken up, I think due to the success of a, a very good review I've got TripAdvisor. <laughs> so, uh, it's a great place. So uh, I decided to come down to the Lizard. So I'm staying at um, the youth hostel, which is behind me there, on top of the hill, um, and overlooks this stunning bay at Cumberac. So it could be a panoramic. And so tomorrow morning, I'm going to be cycling six miles over the top of this hill to um, Hopford and then leaving my bike and locking it up somewhere where the ferry comes across and then running about 13 miles back to here. Then I'll have to go and retrieve the bike in the evening sometime. But um, I'm, I've signed up for a duathlon, uh, a trail duathlon, so run, mountain bike, run. Uh, so I need to get a bit of train doing this, both cycling and running in the same day. But um, yeah, this is a, a stunning spot down here. It's one of the southerly most parts of the UK uh, and it kind of feels like it. It's very warm. Um, uh, I'm just going to a little walk around town and see what it's about. So uh, looks like it's going to be a good little trip. So recently there was a flood in Kavarak um, which has washed some of the road away and I'm in one of the little cafes here. Archie's Loft and uh, they had over a foot of water and it was so bad it was uh, going to take the floor out that the fire brigade cut a hole in the floor. So um, today is a bit of an experimentation really because I'm going to cycle about seven miles to the start of the coast path at Hilford then run 13, 13 and a half miles back to here to Kabarak. This is where I'm camping in a very pretty orchard at the youth hostel. Um, I've got, <laughs> I've got to carry two rucksacks. So I've got, I've got one with my running gear in and one with my cycling gear in and then some locks. I've got a lock bike up somewhere. I hope no one steals it. But um, it's quite fun. It's quite an interesting thing to try. Um, I'm sure the logistics of it will sort of uh, be smoothed out, but I think it, leading up to this duathlon that I'm doing, it just it seems like a really good way to train. Um, and there's no rush, no pressure. And the, the really nice thing about this is that I haven't got any schedules to stick to to buses, um, with buses and things. And it actually turns out that um, I'm up really early, and it's only around about sort of eight fifteen in the morning, and I'm ready to go. So um, I'm just going to treat this as a bit of a fun cycle ride. I'm not going to push it very hard at all just to see how the legs feel running after cycling. Uh, just being, enjoy being on the bike. I've got to carry it down some steps and of course some, someone's been cutting some hedges and there's lots of debris in the road so I don't want to get punctured right at the start. So I'm not carrying any spares. Um, so I'm trying to limit how much stuff I'm carrying with me. So um, yeah, all a bit of a big experiment. I mean, if it goes wrong, I walk back or get a bus or something. <laughs> Who knows? But nice little adventure. The run should be really lovely. So I'm uh, looking forward to this. Made it to Helford after nearly being run over on my bike three times by tractors and things. Um, I've attached my bike 
to a bit of fence and hopefully no one will steal it. Some very kind people. So what's your name? Matt. Matt. How you doing? Is gonna look look over my bike, hopefully. Uh and eBay gold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And this ends up on eBay. Uh, I gotta walk up here and then run back along across this bridge. And then 13 and a half miles. So let's get going. <laughs> How about this. Uh, this appears to be where the ferry comes in. Um, my bike's just a couple hundred meters up there, locked up. Hopefully, it'll still be there later when I come back. Um, it's quite hot today. It's going to be quite grueling. My legs. I'm going to have to stretch my legs out a little bit. I think they feel a little bit sore after the cycle ride. So I've never, I haven't tried doing this for a little while. I think it's going to be hot, very pretty, and quite awesome. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> What's still here? Thank you very much. Have fun. Bye. Bye. Why does this always happen at the start? Thank you very much. Cheers. Enjoy your day. I think I might stop the swimming sometime today. This has to be one of the prettiest sections of coast bus I've done, I think. It's stunning. Definitely going for a swim. One of the interesting things today is that I forgot to put my heart rate monitor on and watch. Uh, I have got my phone with me just in case, but I haven't even bothered looking at the time we started. And uh, I'm just going to treat it as a fun day out. Um, legs feel great off the cycle. This is quite surprising. But, uh, yeah, that's fine. Fab. Uh, I was chatting to a couple of the women in the um, youth hostel last night, and there are a couple of places here where the signs are a bit ambiguous, and I've come to one of them. The, the path appears to go off to the left, but the sign's telling me to go straight ahead. Uh, there are a few options here. I think I'm, this might be the one that they said take the central one, central route. I'm not sure. I'll try the middle one. But there's a beautiful view out here. It's called Gillian Creek. That's quite a view, eh? <laughs> As a warning for you, uh, if in doubt, check your map. I can be asked, and I've just done a third of a mile loop of a headland uh, and realised that back at that last junction by the Gillian Creek, I should have uh, gone down to the creek and tried to get a ferry across. <laughs> just spoke to a nice local guy and he said that you might be able to get the ferry across. Apparently, at low tide, you can walk across. If not, there's a two mile detour. I reckon I might be able to get across that. Do you mind if I film you? Yeah, hello. What's this for? I record my running okay. along the coast path and running to come back. Oh. So, uh, yeah. Sure. This very nice man says I can walk across, so I'll give it a go. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. Anywhere? <laughs> this should be 
fair, right, this guy reckons I can walk across here and it won't be any more than a foot deep. So uh, hopefully we'll, let's not fall in. We'll give it a go. So far so good. So halfway across, looks fine. I need to make sure I don't drop my gimbal in because uh, it ain't waterproof. <laughs> and that's one of the things about these little adventures, you never know who you meet. And uh, if you'd start talking to people, instead of taking a two mile detour around a lane, you find out you can walk across the river. Hey, I'm getting some slightly funny looks here. Feet off when we get going again. That's not the coast park. Oh. I got out of the creek, uh, but I appear to be heading the wrong way along. I'm gonna have to consult the map. Yeah, I have been going the wrong way. The path is really poorly defined here and Supposedly, it should be going in the other direction. <laughs> Find it. That's the giveaway. Along the beach to concrete steps, not those concrete steps. Here. Okay, back on track again. made a sort of two mile detour and uh, the footpath is actually overgrown I should take you onto the beach and back on track again hopefully but yeah and I've only done about three and a half miles in about an hour and a half it's very slow to do sign on the ground and uh, there are several different uh, uh, tracks you could go on. I've gone the wrong way again uh, because this this here is a path I should have come down but there was no sign at the other end of it so I didn't see it so I've actually got to go back again another quarter of a mile. Cheer me up, three and a half miles left. So who is responsible for this? <laughs> I think I have words. Yeah, so where that broken sign was, there's that is actually supposed to direct you through some fields to cut a big corner off. Um, so I just went up the road because I didn't realise that <clears throat> part was there. It looks like if it was there, it was very overgrown. Um, the battery's just packed for my gimbal, so I can't get any smooth footage so it's going to be a bit <laughs> a bit bouncy from now on but I think I'll just have to stop and get some panoramas. It's a shame because this is one of the most beautiful sections of coast path I've ever run but it's probably quite clearly the uh, most poorly signposted so um, 
I'm going to speak to the South West Coast Path uh, Association and uh, probably contact the local council and try and get them to sort this out because it's just it's really unfair for people walking a long distance. You know, people are carrying big rucksacks and, or people running like me. You can end up spending a lot of time not only spoiling your day but, you know, running out of energy and um, there aren't a huge number of places to get food around here either. So, yeah, it needs to be sorted out. I will cheer up. Everything's falling apart. Camera just backed up, just taking the battery out and it's uh, started up again. Uh, right, just been diverted, uh, but I think I've worked out where I am again. So, off to Dean Point. I don't know whoever carried this up here, but uh, good on you. Oh, Dean Point. Point. Okay. Yeah. So, what's your name? Stephen. Stephen. I'm John. Hi, John. Nice to meet you. Enjoy nice your. Meet you. Enjoy the rest of your walk. Have a great run. Thank you. Car out of the way. There's a cow sitting in the uh, southwest coast path. I'll, I'll interview them and see why. So that's cover up behind me. It's about another mile and a half, two miles. And that'll be it. Uh, yeah, it has been great. Bloody annoying at places, but it's fantastic, isn't it? So, uh, it's hot. <laughs> and I've managed to do it without taking a gel today because I've been going steady. It's quite interesting, but uh, maybe a subject for further discussion. Hey there. But uh, yeah, it's not. 